Welcome to a captivating journey into the life of one of history's most remarkable figures, William the Conqueror. From his humble beginnings as a young Duke of Normandy to his epic conquest of England, this video explores the extraordinary tale of a visionary leader and military genius. His illegitimate upbringing, Guillaume the Conqueror, also known as William the Conqueror, was born in 1028 in Falaise, Normandy, to parents Robert I, Duke of Normandy, and Herleva, a woman of common birth. His birth was surrounded by controversy and his illegitimate status initially posed challenges to his future. However, despite these obstacles, Guillaume showed early signs of leadership and resilience. During his youth, Guillaume faced internal conflicts within Normandy and external threats from neighboring powers. He had to navigate the treacherous world of feudal politics, constantly proving himself as a capable ruler and military strategist. Guided by his upbringing and tutelage, Guillaume developed a deep sense of duty and a hunger for power. As a young man, Guillaume demonstrated his military prowess in battle and gained invaluable experience in commanding troops. His character and determination earned him respect among his peers and instilled loyalty among his followers. Through his strategic alliances and cunning diplomacy, Guillaume sought to strengthen his position and secure the future of his duchy. The Conquest of England the conquest of England by William the Conqueror, also known as the Norman Conquest, was a significant event in English history. Here is a vivid and detailed explanation of the conquest. In 1066, William, the Duke of Normandy, claimed the English throne, asserting that he was the rightful heir of Edward the Confessor. William assembled a formidable army of Norman knights, foot soldiers, and archers, and set sail across the English Channel. On September 28, 1066, William's forces landed at Pevensey in southern England. They quickly established a defensive position and began to build a wooden fortification, known as a Martin Bailey Castle, to protect their beachhead. Meanwhile, Harold Godwin's son, the newly crowned King of England, had just defeated another invading army led by Harold Hardrada of Norway at the Battle of Stamford Bridge. Upon hearing news of William's arrival, Harold hastily marched his weary troops south to confront the Normans. The two armies clashed on October 14, 1066, at the Battle of Hastings. The battle was fierce and bloody, with both sides fighting valiantly. Despite Harold's efforts, his forces were eventually overwhelmed by the disciplined Norman cavalry and the archer's deadly arrows, Harold himself was killed during the battle, supposedly by an arrow to the eye. With the English king dead, his remaining troops began to retreat, and the Normans pursued them relentlessly. The defeat at Hastings marked a turning point in English history. William, now hailed as William the Conqueror, marched triumphantly through southern England, encountering resistance from various English lords and rebellions along the way. He employed a strategy of building castles, such as the iconic Tower of London, to establish his authority and control over the land. In December 1066, William was crowned King of England at Westminster Abbey, solidifying his claim to the throne. He embarked on a series of campaigns to consolidate his rule, putting down revolts and asserting Norman control over the English population. To secure his position, William introduced a series of reforms, including the compilation of the Doomsday Book, a comprehensive survey of land ownership and resources in England. This enabled him to establish an effective system of governance and taxation. The Norman conquest brought about significant changes in England. The Anglo-Saxon ruling class was largely replaced by Norman nobles, and the English language adopted a significant number of French words, greatly influencing its development. While the conquest was marked by violence and upheaval, it also laid the foundation for the development of a strong centralized monarchy in England. William's reign ushered in a period of cultural, social, and political transformation, forever shaping the history of England and its ties to Normandy. His reforms, during his reign, William the Conqueror implemented several significant reforms that had a lasting impact on England. One of the most notable reforms was the creation of the Doomsday Book, a comprehensive survey of land ownership and resources in England. This record helped William assess the extent of his kingdom and facilitated effective taxation and governance. He also established the feudal system, granting land to nobles and clergy in exchange for their loyalty and military service. 
To manage finances, William established the Royal Exchequer, a centralized financial institution. He implemented strict regulations for the management of royal forests and introduced legal reforms to create a more efficient and uniform legal system. William initiated a massive castle-building campaign across England, strengthening his control and protecting against potential rebellions. He exerted control over the English church, appointing Norman bishops and abbots to key positions. These reforms, among others, helped William consolidate his rule and establish a strong centralized monarchy in England. They laid the foundation for subsequent developments in governance, administration, and legal systems, shaping the future trajectory of the country. Other occupations, international relations, William was also involved in conflicts with other European rulers, notably the King of France and the Breton Lords. He sought to expand his influence and consolidate his borders. Construction of castles and cathedrals, William ordered the construction of many castles and cathedrals in England, including the famous Tower of London and Canterbury Cathedral. These monuments are still visible today and testify to its architectural heritage. His death, William the Conqueror died in 1087 in Rouen, Normandy. His legacy lives on to this day, with the Norman influence on the culture, language and legal system of England. He laid the foundations of the Norman monarchy and shaped the history of England and medieval Europe. And that concludes our journey through the remarkable life of William the Conqueror. From his ambitious conquest of England to the implementation of significant reforms, his legacy continues to shape the course of history. As one of the most influential figures of his time, William's impact on the development of England and its institutions cannot be overstated. Thank you for watching.